So often, even in more liberal Mennonite communities in this region, leadership positions are reserved uh, for men or sometimes less, less often for pastor couples. What challenges did you encounter as a single woman in a leadership position? Yeah, it was quite challenging, that's for sure. <laughs> um, uh, when, I, when I first arrived, um, I, there was actually some direct communication going on directly with me and mm -hmm. with my bosses, mm -hmm. where people said, listen, we've been asking for, for this position. We requested it be a couple mm -hmm. or at least a man. Yeah. Um, and you have sent, sent us a woman, a young woman who is single. And yeah. uh, um, that is not what we asked for. That's not what we need. Mm. And uh, I'm I'm grateful that in this instance, my uh, MCC did not listen to to this um, request mm -hmm. um, because it um, sometimes yeah sometimes um, um, it is good to bring in a little shock factor and yeah, something for sure. a little bit different and, and yeah. a different example yeah. um, to to break uh, these um, um, opinions against that this mm -hmm. is not possible. And, and, mm -hmm. and along these the three years that I worked with MCC, I heard that a lot. Yeah, that uh, it's not possible. And uh, the beginning was was very difficult. I would say during the first year. It was hard to see any progress, mm -hmm. but especially at the third year, um, the last year of, of the work, I felt that I had gained the, the trust and the respect mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. many leaders I was yeah. working with. Yeah. And, where, and uh, where I felt that the people who had said since the beginning, it's not possible, that I, could, I was able to prove that it is possible. Yeah. Um, and that at the end of the day, what people really value is uh, that you know what you're talking about mm -hmm. and that you're committed to it. Yeah. And uh, you're going to, and like I was mentioning before, it's very, pragmatism is very valued. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, so I, I felt like uh, at the third year, people were already like, no, that's, it's, it is possible. Yeah. It is possible. Yeah. And um, I did a lot of work in general with leaders where I would meet mm -hmm. up with, with pastors or youth leaders mm -hmm. or um, uh, teachers or directors from schools, from different types of schools. You would just have coffee and talk about, um, uh, about everything, about mm -hmm. plans for the future, struggles in the community. And uh, I would apply a lot of coaching techniques mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, really not tell them what to do. Mm -hmm. That was also something that I felt that uh, people were asking for, mm -hmm. is tell me what to do. Yeah. Uh, and that, I think, had been the, the approach um, for the past, I don't know, 20, mm -hmm. 10, 20, 30 years, yeah. had been very paternalistic, where somebody from the outside would come in and tell people what to do. Yeah. And uh, so this was also uh, some uh, a new approach that MCC started using and that I was using also with people was what do you want to do or yeah. um and then i i would express my opinion this is why i think this is a great idea and yeah. now let's think through how can you do this um but never saying you should do this or that because mm -hmm. um yeah it, it for i think for it to be lasting for something to be lasting it has to be the person doing it has to be also committed to that vision because yeah. otherwise it's going to just die out and not not have a continuity so yeah um being a leader in the community as a woman i think uh, the, the beginning was very hard but um, um i see more and more women also stepping into into um, positions of leadership mm -hmm. or taking the risk risk of of being a leader of yeah. taking initiative um uh, Beginning with the spaces that are uh, considered more spaces for for women in the mm -hmm. community, yeah. um, but also stepping outside. Like one one of the things that I think was very successful is um, I worked a lot with the 
with the Blumenau School mm -hmm. and the Blumenau Church, yeah. and uh, um, they opened their doors and welcomed me to talk about um, vision for the future, yeah. life goals yeah. uh, with um, teenagers and young adults, mm -hmm. uh, where I would challenge them, you know, is, is your life going to be really just... Uh, and I mean, for some people, uh, this will be their calling of... Mm -hmm. uh, of having a family, of staying where their yeah. parents and grandparents have been, and uh, be active in that community. Mm -hmm. um, but for others, their their role in life or their path mm -hmm. will lead them to maybe also leaving the community yeah. and uh, taking those things that they bring from this community to, to yeah. other parts. Yeah. And so um, now the... the uh, over the past years, we have seen a lot of these teenagers and young adults that uh, uh, I talked to mm -hmm. about these things going on an MCC term, on a one-year MCC mm -hmm. term mm -hmm. abroad, or becoming more involved in their community mm -hmm. on in the in the in the social uh, topics. Mm -hmm. um, who have taken initiatives to start uh, new things, and uh, I think in part it. It is a fruit. It is a result of um, encouraging others who also in this community, like young people, very often have a lesser value or mm. their opinion mm -hmm. has yeah. a lesser lesser value than uh, people with uh, um, more years, mm -hmm. and to encourage them and, and to also become a leader yeah. by example. Yeah.